Hi, Blessies. Thanks for joining me on Pizzo's Pages. Today's vlog is a new series I'm starting called Five Minute Reviews. Five Minute Reviews. So basically, I'm reading all the books and I am reviewing on Goodreads, uh, providing a star rating. And then I also want to support writers and readers with discovering great books and great writing or not so great book and great writing. It's just my opinion, just my opinion um, on what I'm reading. Uh, so today's five minute review I just finished this week is Beverly Jenkins Topaz. Beverly Jenkins Topaz. So this is Beverly Jenkins Topaz and it is yummy, yummy. It is very much a great historical romance. It is sort of like a shoot 'em up Wild West, which is what the author wrote in her author's note in the back of the book, is that this is a shoot 'em up romance. Beverly Jenkins is an African-American woman author that lives in Michigan. And I've had the pleasure several times to meet her and to attend one or two of her events. And I have just loved, loved, fallen in love with her. She's been writing for over 25 years. So you can find almost probably near 100 of her books, both historical, contemporary, as well as romance and realistic women's fiction. She, um, it's just, she has an excellent brand, an excellent brand quality. And you're gonna learn a lot of actual history. And that's one of the reasons why I love, love, love Topaz and Dixon Wild Horse and Katie Wild Horse. Um, so you're gonna learn a lot of history. This, this book is just full of Native American history and the um, Black Seminoles uh, that lived in the West, in the Oklahoma region. Um, it is just great. There's a lot of information about mail, uh, mail order brides in here. There's a lot of information about Constantinople wagons in here. There's a lot of information about um, the first African-American newspapers and just journalists in general, African-American journalists and newspapers that were throughout the region in the 1800s. It's just packed full of wonderful historical information, but it's also spicy, spicy, spicy. You will love, love, love the love affair between Dixon and Katie that is a slow burn that simmers and oh, it is yummy. And the, and the lovemaking scenes are just, exceptionally done, exceptionally done. So I'm gonna read a little bit of the back and then I'll give you my style rating. This is Topaz by Beverly Jenkins. Katie, a perilous pursuit. Katie Love is an ambitious young newspaper reporter on the trail of a railroad stock swindler who has been prying on elderly blacks. Her investigation points to Rupert Samuels, one of the wealthiest and most eligible black men in the East, but her covert efforts to get close enough to uncover the goods on him bring her to the brink of becoming his wife. And then a promise of pleasure. Snatched from the altar by Dix Wild Horse, a black Seminole marshal from Oklahoma's Indian country, Katie has no choice but to flee with the darling knight her father sent to rescue and wed her. Marriage had never been a part of Kate's plans, and she isn't about to abandon her career to become the dutiful wife of a Wild West lawman bent on wrapping her in his own protective cocoon. Determined to hold on to her independence despite the dark simmering fire Dix's bronze muscled embrace ignites, she challenges him at every turn. Yet even as their battle of wills intensifies, the heat of their passion blazes with unmatched fury, a wildfire of love that can only be answered in the sweet ecstasy of surrender. And this is an Avon romance. It is delicious. It is delicious. The history is excellent because you can sink your teeth into it and really learn a lot about African-American history during the Wild West. You can learn a lot about so many of the things that have been buried in history regarding um, Native Americans. There's some um, information about the Trail of Tears 
it is wonderful. And for me, who's, uh, you know, American history teacher and a American history teacher buff, I loved it. I loved it. I mean, I read it straight through every night. I sort of read at night once I go to bed and I savor the books until I can get there. And I'm telling you, it was one of those books where I would fall asleep just because my life is crazy busy and I would force myself to wake back up and read some more. I just will fall asleep and like, I've got to get to this end of this chapter. And then the end of the chapter would make me turn to the next chapter. So it's definitely a page turner. But the love story and the romance is just yum me. You will love this couple. You will love, love, love the scenes that they're in together. You will root and cheer for them. It is yummy. So this is a five star for me. Topaz is a five star for me. Um, only thing I had a problem with, she is taller, she's more statuesque. He is this big bronze um seminole and that is repeated over and over and over again to the point where i was like okay i got it i get it i get it he carrying her over the threshold putting her on his lap doing all of that stuff even though she's this taller statuesque woman but i get it i get it she's a big woman so i didn't think that needed to be repeated so often but it's yummy. It's yummy. And this is Topaz. If you can't find it, this was written a long, a while ago. I think maybe one of her first books. It was written, uh, let's see what the publishing date is. And it's set in 1884. Chicago 1884 is where it's first set. And then it moves to the Wild West. Um, but it's the 1880s. And this was first published... In 1997, 1997. So I'm just reading a lot of these books because in 1997, I was in the throes of um, graduate school. <laughs> I wasn't reading none of this kind of stuff. Um, but it's wonderful. Topaz by Beverly Jenkins, five star, five star.